live. Um, JD Google saying you are definitely live here. We can see you and hear you perfectly. Brilliant. Okay, so, well, I had nothing planned. Let, let me just let me just explain. I know I've not done a live for a very, very, very long time. If you can hear any noise, it's Eddie in the background running around like a fool because every time I go onto the phone and start talking or I start to do some screen recording at my computer, he thinks I'm talking to somebody and he turns into like a naughty two-year-old and he's doing exactly the same now because I'm talking to my iPad. But hopefully he'll settle down. Um, so basically what you can see here on the desktop, this kind of pattern paper and this here, I actually made these weeks and weeks ago in Canva. If you want to know how I did this, this kind of background paper, then just leave me a comment and I'll see if I can do a Canva desktop live at some point. I don't think I can do anything next Tuesday because, uh, sorry, next Sunday. Uh, what day are we on now? Yeah, next Sunday I don't think I can do anything because I'm busy and I don't know if I'll be back in time. But anyway, but I was using my scan and cut in the week and I noticed that the calibration was off again. Now I did calibrate it a few weeks ago. Um, take a deep breath, you're doing just great. Oh, thank you, bless you. Um, I did calibrate my machine a few weeks ago and it worked perfectly fine. And I'm looking on my desk to see if I've got what I did. Um, just to show you while we're chatting, because <laughs> Eddie's saying hi back. Because <laughs> um, this might just literally be just an informal chat. <laughs> I might not be actually doing anything. Um, let me just, give me one minute while I... So let me show you something. So this, this folder with bits and pieces in, and this was in this folder which is now empty, have been sat on the corner of my desk for weeks on end. This little character here, not sure how well you'll see it. I've not got my ring light, by the way, so I'm literally just doing this with daylight. I did try to put all my overhead lights on, but it was casting shadows, so I've turned them off. So what time is it now? It's like 10 to 7, so it may just go very dark all of a sudden and I'm going to either have to put all the overhead lights on or I might even have to just end this live stream. But we'll we'll just see what happens because, like I say, it's taken me an hour and 40 minutes to try and get on and get all my software set up. And anyway, I've had no end of problems. So this little character here, you can see, has got a perfect, well, hopefully you can, has got a perfect white border all the way around. And that was after I calibrated my scan and cut machine a few weeks ago, maybe even longer now. Um, but just give you a sneak peek to something that I've been doing recently. These two characters, this is the same girl, only smaller. And then this character, these are going to be you're getting a bit of a sneak peek because these are an upcoming video that I've got scheduled. Not sure how well you'll see, but there's no white border around the top of his head and around this like lollipop. And if you can hear another noise, I've got the door open because it's warm and I live in a village and I'm high up in the village, but below me is a train line that goes through. So there's a train either coming into the station or going through. That's probably what you, you might be able to hear. Anyway, and as I say, there's no white border around here, so the calibration seems to be off again. Now, it might be because I've been moving my craft room around and therefore I've been moving my scan and cut around and I don't know how sensitive the calibration is when you move the machine. So, my thinking was that I was going to try and come on, like I say, nearly two hours ago 
and I was going to try and show how to calibrate the machine and I was going to try and cut one of these flowers out to see if it worked. Now, there are gaps in this flower, so I'm gonna to have to probably join the gaps up with a pencil, but that's, you know, another issue. But as I say, I've not been able to get on. Let me just see if I can, I'm just gonna switch the cameras to my scan and cut a minute. I want to try and raise this overhead camera a little bit. So I'm gonna switch the cameras so I don't make you dizzy while I'm doing this. Let me just switch that back now. That's a bit better. Right, let me see what we're saying. So, oh yes, please. Is that to the Canva, I'm guessing? Would really like a Canva live. Yeah, okay. I would like a video showing how to calibrate your scan and cut. Okay, well Angie, that's what I'd kind of was, was going to do tonight because I need to calibrate my machine anyway and I thought it's Sunday. I was going to watch the athletics. My plan was to try and come on before the athletics starts but as I say I've had no end of problems so I'll have to watch the athletics on catch up. Um, and that was what I was, I was thinking of doing. So great idea Angie, I would like to know how to do that also. Okay, so I have got my other camera set up pointing at my scan and cut machine. So maybe... That's what we'll try and do and we'll just have a chat and see what everyone's up to and how you're all getting on. Um, and we'll just see how we get. So this is my low tack mat. It's the one with like the turquoise triangle. Um, for anybody that may or may not be new, I know JD Cougar and Susan or not, but I'm not sure about the other names. I'm really sorry. Um, if you don't know, I use an SDX 2200D, okay? It's basically the same machine as the new one that's out now and the, the SDX 1200 or the DX 1200. It's just that mine has probably got maybe a few more fonts, maybe a few more inbuilt patterns and I've got Disney, which, you know, I don't use that often. So if you've got an SDX or a DX machine, in other words, an auto, let me just try and straighten this up, or, a, you know, an auto blade machine, then hopefully this, you know, may help. So I've got a low tack mat, I've got a piece of scrapbook paper. Um, this just came out of an old K&Co and Co pad um, that I've had as long as I can remember. So I'm going to turn it over because it's only single sided and I want the white side because it will help me see the um, cross hatching better, hopefully. So I'm going to just put this down on here. Let me just make sure if there's any comments I'm, I'm missing. I'm going to wake my scan and cut machine up because I put it on when I hit the live button. But like I say, I couldn't see couldn't see my live on my phone and I couldn't see any comments so I didn't know if anybody was there so it's gone to sleep again. So low tack mat, piece of scrapbook paper, it's only thin paper. I would say it's probably no thicker than you know your basic maybe 80-90 gram copy paper. Um, let me flick you over to the scan and cut screen. I'm going to load this mat into the machine. Now my, my microphone is directly above my head. So when I'm looking at my desktop, I'm kind of more or less speaking into the microphone. When I'm using my scan and cut, my scan and cut is on my left. And I, 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 you know, an angle so when I'm looking at the scan and cut screen the sand may go a little lower because I'm pointing kind of diagonally away from the microphone if that makes sense so let me try and zoom this in because you don't need to see the mat at the moment you need to see the scan and cut screen really 
Hi Maria from Texas and Shaz, hi. Lovely to have you here. Um, so I'm hoping now that you can't all see the scan and cut screen. I can see it in my kind of little window that, you know, I have on my iPad, which is how I operate all my phones. So hopefully you can all see it as well. So the way that you do the calibration, if your cutting is off, like I've just shown you with those little characters, um, let me just try and turn my iPad around so that I can try and still see comments out of the corner of my eye. You need to go into the little wrench icon, okay? I got my scan and cut out of the box today after buying it a year ago. Oh, well, this may or may not help. You, if, if you've had yours a year, you may not need to do this, Shaz, but hopefully my channel will help you. I've got loads of videos here on my Apple Lover 53 channel. I'll put the, you should know where you are. That's my website as well with my blog on it, loads of projects and stuff on there if you don't already follow me. Um, so can you see the scan and cut screen first of all before I go waffling on and then I find out that you can't, you can't see. Let me just lift my camera up a tiny bit. I'm just gonna have a drink of water. Sorry for slurping water live on YouTube. <laughs> we can see the screen, brilliant, thank you. That's fantastic. Okay, so you need to, I've switched it on and this is the opening screen that you get, okay? My point is in the drawer underneath, so for now I'm gonna just use my finger. You need to go to the settings and then what you need to do, let me see if I can zoom in a bit more for you. Okay, hopefully that's better. So you need to use this down arrow. Um, let's see, so this, if, if you like, this would be page one. So I hit the down arrow. This is like page two, hit it again. So it's like three, page three, if you like. And it says blade adjustment area. So I'm gonna click on the arrow next to it. I think this is how you do it. Anyway, as I say, I did it a while ago and it worked. I think this is what I did. So um, let's just keep everything crossed and make sure that this is going to turn out right. I'm just going to go back because I've just seen a load of things flash up before me. Yes, we can see the screen. Yes, can see. Yes, I can see. I can see and hear. Books and life. Welcome, JD Nom. Thank you. I already follow you. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Oh, great. Whereabouts are you, Shaz? Are you in the UK or are you somewhere else in the world? I'm not a Stampin' Up! demonstrator anymore. Um, if you follow me, you probably know that because I posted a video a while ago. So let me let me go on. So this is the screen that you then get. So then it's I'm going to click OK. And OK. Now that's not worked, has it? So let's go back. One, two, maybe it's not blade adjustment area. Let me go down again. I can't remember how to do it now. Um, I thought it was that one. Let's go back. Blade adjustment area. Oh, it's not that, is it? That's where your blade makes the little thing in your um, in the top of your mat. Right, hang on. Let's get rid of that. Um, let's go down again because I can't remember how I did it. Or is it the one where you press the home screen or something like that? Blade adjustment area. Uh, we might not be doing this if I can't remember how to do it. It might be that one. Hang on, let's just try and... Okay, so I think it might, let's see, it could be scanning slash cutting position adjustment. The carriage and mat will move to the initial position. So let me load the mat again. Let 
map is not loaded. So let's load the map. Not having much luck here, am I? Hang on. Let's try again. You're in Devon. Okay, so you're a UK demo. Right, I'm going to go back to the home screen because my mat is not loading now. So we may or may not be doing this. Okay, I'm going to turn my machine off and then put it back on and try again because I thought it was that blade adjustment area, but it clearly isn't. So let's try again and see if I can remember how I did it. <clears throat> okay, the carriage will move, okay. Right. Let's try again, load the map. The map's not loading for some reason. I don't know why. How bizarre. When it did a few minutes ago. Might try another mat in a minute if this doesn't work. It's working now. Right, let's go back to the wrench. Let's go back to, so it's not page three. Okay, let's try this. Scanning cutting position adjustment. The carriage and mat will move to the initial position. Keep your hands out of the way. Okay, that's just unloaded my mat. So that's not what I want, is it? Okay, so you've got to load the mat when you get to this screen. I'll try it again in a few minutes, but let's see what happens now. So let's press start. I don't know if you'll get this, but, oh, he's gone. Eddie was stood on the chair right behind the, the screen. I was gonna show him, but never mind, he's disappeared. I did it a while back, scan slash cut position. Didn't let me adjust anything. Okay, let's just see what, what happens. Okay, well it is doing something now because it's saying processing and the blade is starting to move. So we'll, we'll see what happens and then we'll just have a bit of a recap in a few minutes. no idea what it's doing now. Okay, right. Let's go back to the screen. Let me see if I can zoom in. Right, so basically I had to go to that page in the settings which wasn't page three, which is what I thought at first. I think it's the next one along. I'll do it again in a few minutes, but um, let's just, I'll, I'll plod on with this for now and see what happens. Um, then I loaded the mat, then that start button lit up in green, okay? Then it's just put like a little cross on the, hang on, let me just move this camera. It's cut like a little cross here in the top left and I don't want to keep moving the camera too much and make you all dizzy. Um, let's see if I can move you down a little bit and in the top right, okay? So let me bring you back to the screen now. And then it's giving me this screen now with this message. So it's asking me, does the, the red dot, which is inside that circle, 
So does the red centre of the circle align with the centre of the cut? So this cut here and this cut here as what it's put in the top left and the top right of the piece of paper that I've loaded onto the mat. Now I'm just, you're going to have to bear with me because I'm going to have to get pretty close to the screen just to have a look at it. I'm going to try and zoom in a bit more for you. So, the one on the left looks as though it's off to the right of centre slightly. And the one on the right is nearly right. But I would say maybe not perfect. So I'm going to say... no and see what happens so it says change the white paper and try again so basically i'm going to take the paper off the mat and i'm just going to rotate it because that's why i chose a plain piece of white paper so i could hopefully see where the cut marks were going to be so i've just rotated the paper round so i'm now cutting on a different side of this white piece of paper on the mat. So I'm going to say OK and I'm going to press start again and I'm going to let it roll through. I don't want to keep moving you. Um, so I'm just letting the paper roll through again and come out of the machine and wait. For this to cut again so I'm guessing it's going to put the cross again in the top left and the top right and then it's going to give me that message and ask me if the dots are the same I said no it just tosses you out to start over again I think it's auto adjusting if you say yes you are done yeah I think so if you say no you start over again I think you're right Maria so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to say yes this time and then I'm going to attempt to cut one of those flowers that I showed you at the beginning. So I'm going to say yes now. And it says the settings were saved. So I'm going to say OK. And then I'm just going to unload the mat. And put that mat on one side because I'm going to need my other mat in a minute. So I'm going to hit the home button. Um, do you have to hit the back button? Okay. So let's just go back to where it is. It's scanning slash cutting position adjustment. Okay. That's what you're looking for for anybody that's not done it. So just use the down arrows and scroll through until you find that. That's the bit that you need. So now let's come back to this and what I'm going to try and do I'm going to try and cut this out or one of these out and see if it gives me the even border all the way around because like I say when I did this some time ago this is what I got and I got this nice even border all the way around but when I tried it a week or so ago to make the characters for these little bags, the calibration was off. But in between doing this and this, I have moved my scan and cut machine several times. So I don't know how, like I say, how sensitive the calibration is. Now I know if I put this in the machine, it's not going to cut this properly because, let me see if I can zoom you in. Can you see that there are gaps here? So each one of these like petals, as you, uh, if you like, is an individual petal and there's gaps between it. So the scan and cut, if I try and scan to direct cut with this, it probably won't put the outline around it because of these gaps in the middle. So what I'm going to do, I'm just using a... Um, one of these mechanical pencils, because they, they have like a nice fine tip. 
and I'm going to join up these lines. Just, I'm just going to draw in a line, if you like, in pencil to kind of close this section off. Don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try it and see. So literally, I'm just drawing with a pencil. And then, you know, if it works and it cuts fine, I can rub these pencil lines out. So hopefully, with that being closed off now, when this scans through, it will put the outline around this for me. It's probably not going to do these because I'm not, I'm, I'm not particularly bothered about this, to be honest. Um, but these circles don't connect as well. So let's, I'm just going to draw a line in there and see what happens. I've not, I've not cut this before. So as I say, these have been sat on my desk for weeks. So I'm going to get a regular mat out now because I don't think that low tap mat is going to be sticky enough for this. So I'm going to bring in my standard mat, which is the one with the purple on the top, which, you know, you may or may not be able to see properly because the light is failing very, very quickly here. I'm going to put this on the mat and it's this top left flower that I've just added those pencil marks to. I'm going to load this into my scan and cut machine. So let's just hit the home button on my machine. I'm going to load this into my machine and see A, if it picks up that flower and then secondly, if it cuts it out with an even border and then I'll know whether the calibration has worked or not. OK, so let's just try and move you back. So I'm going to do scan, direct cut, temporarily save the memory into the machine and start. Now this should take the map through hopefully find what's on the map, but I'm going to isolate that one flower just to save some time because as I say, you know, I've, I've been hoping to get on here a, a, a lot earlier, um, but at least now I know it works. So hopefully if I do a, a live again in a couple of weeks, lighting is okay so far. Okay. Um, then hopefully I won't have as much problems. So now you can see it's showing me what I've got on the piece of card. So I'm going to say, OK, I'm going to drag the handles in and I'm just going to isolate that one flower because that's the only one I've added the pencil lines to. So that in theory should be the one it picks up. I might try one of the others just to see, but I don't think it'll pick them up because of all the gaps. So I'm going to say preview. Now I've highlighted that one flower. It looks as though it's put the outline around it from what I can see. So I'm going to say OK. I'm going to go into offset and I'm going to add a 0 0.04 offset. So that's one click of the plus button. I like to cut mine with a white border. I'm going to say OK again. It's still looking OK. OK again. I'm going to say, and that actually looks OK. I'm going to say select and cut and start so half cut is off because I, I need to check that because I've been cutting a lot of vinyl lately so um, you know you have it on half cut when you're cutting vinyl so let's say start and let's see if we get this flower um, so I think we're all okay up to now aren't we everybody seems to be okay and you're saying the lighting's okay so far. It literally is like going darker and darker by the minute here. Okay, that's finished. I'm going to say, okay. I'm going to unload the mat and I'm gonna bring you back to my desk. Let me just try and square up this camera. I think I moved it a little. So let's bring the mat in. So it was this one, top left. 
and I'm just going to bend the mat a little. This is a, a newish mat, by the way, so it's really sticky. So I, I just, I'm just going to like slightly bend the mat so that like, I like to say like air gets underneath and it lifts it up and then it's easier to peel. Now, that actually does look a lot better. I would say it's not perfect because I seem to have a bit more of a white border down at the bottom than I do at the top, but it's certainly given me the white border. So I've got options. I can either live with it as it is, or I can do the calibration again. I honestly don't know. I probably would live with it to be fair. And because I put those lines in, it has picked and I, I, I created a line between this. I'm not sure how well you'll see this. Use my pencil rather than. Can you see the pencil lines? I just did a pencil line. Just kind of joining them together. So it has cut everything out. Let's just do an experiment while I'm on. And I'm going to switch you back and I'm going to load the mat again and just see if it picks the other flower up without drawing in the lines. It probably will do and I probably could have saved myself all that time but I didn't think it would. So I'm going to load the mat again. I'm going to switch you back. <clears throat> what are you doing Ed? And I'm going to go home, OK to cancel. I'm going to say scan, direct cut, save into the machine and start. And let's just see if it picks up. I know it will pick the leaves up because there's no break in those leaves. So it will pick all those leaves up, no problem. Oh, oh, we've got a catastrophe. My car doesn't stuck down on the mat properly. Oh, it's got all wound up in the machine. Let's see if I can pull it out. Unload the mat. I wasn't watching what I was doing. It's, it's chewed up where the hole was. Can you see? So I may not be doing this experiment after all. I'm going to just try and make sure there's no cards stuck in my blade. Right, I'm going to try this again and, and just see if I can make this work. Let me bring you back to my... So when it took the mat through, I wasn't watching what was going on behind. And where this has already cut out, it lifted. So as it brought the mat back through the machine, it, you know, tipped it all over. So I'm going to cut that off and see if we can just salvage it's just a typical youtube night isn't it you know when things go wrong they go wrong this used to happen to me all the time if you remember so let's put this back on the mat and i'm gonna rub it are you all still there because i can't see any comments or anything i'm gonna rub it down get my spatula out make sure it's all rubbed down just cut the corner off. That's exactly what I've just done. Thank you. And I'm going to put it back in the machine and see if it will pick up these flowers. So I'm going to hit the home button, say OK to delete all patterns. Let's take you back to the machine. I'm going to load this mat again before I'm stood here completely in the dark. I'm glad I'm not the only one that happens to. <laughs> it wouldn't be a YouTube live, would it, without something going wrong? So I'm going to do scan, direct cut, start. And this time I'm going to watch my card coming out the back or my mat coming out the back. I could hear it, but I couldn't stop it in time. Okay, so this time it's come through fine. So let's say okay. And let's... I'm just going to isolate one of them and see. 
as we drag that corner in and I'm going to say preview and see what happens. So if I can zoom in and then if I can zoom in here, I'm not sure how well you'll see this, but because those gaps are in this one because I didn't draw anything in, it looks as though the black lines are going in between all those gaps. I'm going to say OK because you might see it better on the next page. So if I, I won't put the offset on this time, I'll just keep going forward. So can you see, let me lift the camera up and try and zoom you in. So can you see what I mean? So because I didn't draw in those gaps in all those individual petals to make it one filled shape, it wants to cut these out individually. Can you see all the black lines? And that's not what I want. I'd just end up with five individual petals. So I was, I was right in thinking that I'd have to close the lines up. So let's come back to this. So by closing those lines up, if I can get under the camera, by closing these lines up here in between all these open gaps with a pencil and by joining this big circle in the middle to these individual circles just with a pencil line, it then closed off the shape and it's cut out what I want. That was the result I wanted. Okay, so I was right in thinking that that would, would be what I need to do, but I just wanted to test it while I was here. So just cut the corner off, still here, still with you. Okay, that's fine. So I know it's been a bit kind of rough and ready, but that is how to calibrate your machine if your cutting is off and then obviously how to you know close off any open lines in a design if you scan something and use you know scan to direct cut or scan to cut data and you're not getting the result that you want it's generally invariably that there's a break in the pattern somewhere now with this one it was plainly obvious to me because like I say I could see that each one of these petals isn't attached to anything else. But sometimes when you're, you know, using stamped images or maybe you're scanning something that's that you've, you know, you've printed a line drawing. If there's the tiniest, tiniest of break and sometimes you don't even notice it's there, you, you won't get the result that you expect. So these are the kind of like troubleshooting things that you have to do. Um, I think I'm going to call it a day for now because I've been on like nearly 45 minutes and it's like half past seven at night nearly now. So, um, but I just wanted to, I wanted to A, try and calibrate my machine. And I wanted to see if the calibration was going to work. So I just thought that I'd try and jump on and do a live and, you know, do the, excuse me, do the two things at once. But I wasn't anticipating it taking me like nearly two hours to, to get on. But, um, you know, and then it would have been a lot lighter. And obviously next time I'll have to rig up my ring light and hope that, you know, if I do have any problems or now the nights are starting to draw in a bit more, I might might have to start using my ring light again to, to give me the extra light without any shadows. So was that helpful or not to, to you? Um, I'm going to unload the mat while I'm waiting. Let me know what you think. You know, did it help you? Did it not? Did you know how to do the screen calibration? Did you have the same problems as me? So Susan's saying it was helpful. <clears throat>
just having a drink of my water. So I think what I'll do, um, I will try and come on live again. And let me zoom out because we're really close in now, aren't we? This flower that you've just seen me cut out, obviously, is the flower that I used to make this background paper. And this was all done in Canva. So not Canvas Workspace, in Canva. And I only use the free version of Canva. I don't have anything special. I don't pay for it. You know, I pay for enough bits of software and stuff to help me record videos and do lives without paying more for Canva. And I've had Canva now a few years. I do have a Canva playlist here on the YouTube channel. So if you don't know what it is, um, you know, just go to the playlist here on my channel and you'll find one for Canva. But this was all made in Canva. This flower from memory was a free a free flower I got as part of my or I downloaded it as part of my for free as part of my membership for for Creative Fabrica but the other elements I can't remember about the leaves but the other elements are in Canva so I can show you how I created this and to be perfectly honest, I have absolutely no idea what I had planned to do with these when I made them. I clearly had a project in my head in mind, but it's that long ago that I made them that I can't even remember what I was going to do with them. But, you know, I'm more than happy to show you how to create something like this in Canva. <clears throat> if you are a paper crafter, then you could you know use elements of this to make cards you could i tell you what i've got on my desk this is my gable gift box which is a cutting file i sell here on my apple lover 53 website this at this size i am sure would cut from an a4 piece of card stock from memory i'm sure i got this just from a because I've printed this in Canva as well. So yeah, it will. So, you know, you could cut something like this from this and have like a patterned gift box. Um, that's just sat on my desk. Um, <clears throat> but like I say, when I actually created these, I obviously had a project in mind, but I've no idea what the project was and they've just been sat here. So, but I'm more than happy to, you know, show you how to create something like this in Canva. Um, uh, let's, let me just go back through the comments learn how to calibra cali calibrate scan and cut so this was great okay perfect thank you always learn when I watch thank you thank you for sharing with us I find and always learn something from watching oh thank you our weather here is changing so fast that I suppose it won't be long till we need lights on earlier in the day I know I mean what what is it now it's like half past seven and I'm looking at the screen and it doesn't look particularly dark on screen, but around me, it is going darker now. Um, I will watch your Canva playlist. I have seen you use it before and was intrigued. Um, and Thunder Kid is, is saying that would be fantastic. Would love to learn that. Okay. Um, like I say, next Sunday I'm busy and I don't know if I'll be home in time. If I can, come on and do a live next week sharing my desktop, showing you how to use Canva, then I will. If not, it might have to be the week after, but I will leave this out on my desk where it's been for weeks on end and it will hopefully remind me to do a live stream to show you, you know, how to set your page up and how I created. Can you see? Because it's got lots of different elements in it. It's got like dots in it. It's got tiny little dots, it's got halves, it's got like little water splashes, it's got the leaves, it's got the flower, it's got other leaves. So it's kind of like an all over, can you see? Like background pattern. Um, 
So, you know, I can show you how to do that anyway. And I think the flower was from Creative Fabrica. If it was, I will make sure that I give you a link and everything to it when I do the live stream. But a lot of the other elements were in Canva. And this probably, you know, a flower or something that you could use to substitute um, with this one. Um, so I think for now, I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to put the covers back on my mats, get Eddie, wherever he is. Um, I think he's gone and lay down somewhere and having a sleep because I can't hear him. And I think I'll say good night. Thank you for being here. That is a lovely piece of paper. Thank you. Printed it on cardstock, which I just put through my printer. Um, so I think I'll call it a night. Say thank you again to you for being here. It was lovely that, you know, the people that have jumped on have jumped on and said hello. And we'll try and make a day again for maybe next Sunday if I'm back in time. If not, maybe the Sunday after, hopefully. Um, so thanks. Thanks for being here. Thanks for bearing with me with all my technical issues and my slip ups and one thing and another. And um, I'll hopefully speak to you all soon. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.